little Shelly here on As We Grow. I did a video a while back on some daffodils about um, a problem I was having with them. I'll try to link it up here or here or, or in the descriptions below. But now they have been in the ground, dug in the ground and basically um, have died off and it's been a couple of weeks. You just want to come through with your snips and just, these are actually tulips in front, but these in the back are the daffodils, but you just want to come back through with your snips with tulips and daffodils and just kind of cut them back down to the ground. This way they'll come back up next year. What I'm going to do with the debris here is I'm going to put it in my compost. It will compost down real nice. And then I can put it back into my flower beds or my garden or wherever I want to put it. I know it looks kind of sparse right now, but I planted some zinnia seeds right through here. So hopefully they'll come up and fill this area up since the tulips and the daffodils are missing. Check out my um, knockout rose bush though. It just started to bud and it's gorgeous. I put it on the corner of the porch here and it's, it's starting to bud. Um, it's got a ton of the buds on there and they're starting to spread out. This thing um, takes off like wildfire in the summer and it just keeps on growing and growing. And if you snip the old buds off, it'll just keep on getting it. There's my chickies. Hey ladies, what y'all doing? We threw some grass in there for them to um, nibble on. They're doing really good. Now that I've collected these, we're gonna go on down to the garden. And I'll show you what I've been up to today. I went earlier this morning. Um, my dad is getting brave and um, driving a little bit. And so he went to the composting place and got my mom some mulch um, for the bed I built her. So me and Jess went out there and um, sealed that up because he still cannot do, you know, uh, heavy duty work. My husband, he's back there spraying um weeds so i'm gonna throw these in this bucket and take it to the compost i've been planting all my pepper plants today and i had to get a little bit um creative because i'm running out of bed space <laughs> so i'll show you what i've done okay so i put my banana peppers in the circle bed around my irises and my Easter bush and my blueberry bush. And then I put over here on the other side of the celery, I put my habanero peppers. And of course, I'm supposed to have some patty squash come up right through here, so I left that alone. Um, my ma, she gave me some calendula and I put some up yonder in my flower beds, but I stuck one right here underneath this iris. I figured it would look real pretty once it bushes out and cascades over these rocks. So over here, I put my sweet California peppers with my okra. I probably put them a little too close together, but I um, told you I had to get creative because I was running out of space. Kind of got excited and planted way too much this year. I just basically made that. That's going to be made into a bed. Um, the grass is pretty much uh, non-existent. There's some where the boards were there before I made my ma's uh, garden bed. And then I come over here and I put some sweet peppers over here and down here. I put some sweet peppers on either side of these between my potatoes and my tomatoes. Um, and then on the ends of the bed, I figured I'd do it on the ends. That way I still would have access on the sides of the bed. But I put um, my I cannot pronounce it. It's a Mexican pepper. It's not hot. Um, it's kind of got like a mild flavor, but I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. But this is how, this is, this is the spelling of it. So I, I'm not even going to try to butcher that. And in the spot, uh, stopped growing I put I had two more pineapple in the house that I didn't realize the pineapple ground cherry so I put one right there 
and I put the other one over here. I um, got my husband to get me some straw. Straw is a good mulcher. It keeps the weeds from um, building up around your plants. Um, straw is better than hay. Hay, if you put it down as mulch, it can reseed, so it's better to go with straw. So I did that the other day and mulched around um, some things. I'll probably come back and mulch around all my pepper plants once I get another um, straw bale I ran out. And then this one, I put it by itself because it was one of those that I really didn't know what it was. <laughs> um, so we put it on the end, so we'll figure out what that turns out to be later. And then I've got some more of the Mexican peppers um, down here on these sides uh, as well. So now that I've gotten all my stuff planted from inside, I've got one more tray in there of some flowers. But basically all my cups and all my trays are done. I'm done using for the year, um, for right now anyway. And so I'm gonna just rinse these off. Um, and that way they'll be clean for the following year. And I can use them again. I like to try to recycle. These trays right here are from Bootstrap Farmer. I used them for the first time this year and I really, really like them. And they're very, very sturdy. And I think that I'll be able to use these for many more years to come. I got these while they were on sale and they are a little pricey when they're not. But I think they would be worth the investment because you'll ha be able to use them for years and years to come. They're not like them flimsy trays that, um, you use them for the year and they crack and break or bend. So I would, if you're um, serious about doing um, a lot of seedlings, I would invest in getting some of these. I'll try to put the link below. No, I'm not promoting this. I'm just telling you that it's a good, um, it's basically a good thing to use. I just want to share that with y'all. So I'm not um, being to advertise this. Okay, so now that I got them done, these solar cups, I think they will probably last me for another year or so. They're not gonna last me as long as these bootstrap um, trays, but they're still in pretty good condition, so I wanna go ahead and rinse them out as well um, because I'll be able to use those again next year. And I think eventually, once um, these crack and aren't any good anymore, I'll probably will go um, order some trays off of Bootstrap um, Farmer. They got some um, potting trays and stuff. Um, so I'll probably get some of those from him as well once these give out on me. I like to like I like to try to recycle any time that I can though. Now that I've gotten all the cups and the trays washed, I'm just going to let them stay out overnight and let them dry out in the morning and collect them and put them up. I'm going to show you the next thing I'm going to do. Um, we've got this space right through here. Let me turn it around. The garden's over there with the raised beds and we got all this space right through here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take next, next best thing because I don't have any um, landscaping dark paper. I'm going to go with black trash bags and I'm going to take these garden uh, staples. Um, they look like these and I'm going to put them into the ground and cover this whole entire area. Well, the majority of it and where I can get around it. I plan on planting um, my watermelon, my pumpkin a banana nut squash i plan on planting all of that right through here but with the black um trash bags it'll kill most of the grass and then i can come back in here and use um the extra bags that i have sitting over here topsoil and the uh mulch and compost and manure um i can put that on top once the grass is killed and come back through with some um 
mulch from over here that we have in this pile. I might have to get some more, but, um, and lay it down like this to keep the weeds and stuff from coming up. And that's where I'm going to put all my viney things at. So they'll have enough room to kind of sprawl all over the place. I'm just trying to make do with what I've got. And, you know, a garden is always in progress. You're always updating and putting in new beds and doing things. But sometimes, you know, it's not in the budget. So you do the next best thing and you get very creative. <laughs> so I'm going to take this trash bag and open it up. And where the seam is, I'm just going to cut with some scissors down the line here. Oh, it ain't got to be pretty. Just as long as it's along that line that way you can open up the bag a little bit more and then i'm gonna come to the bottom of the bag and do the same thing i'm just gonna put that up and so basically you open it up and it gives you a nice area to cover we're just going to lay this on the ground. I'm not going to tack these in just yet. I'm just going to kind of sporadically um, just put them where they can hold, hold the black tarp in. And then I'll come back and push them into the ground. I'll just basically leave it like this until I get the area that I want to cover. And I'll leave it on there for about a week or so. And hopefully it'll kill the grass off by then. And then I can start putting down mulch in my topsoil and my compost and the manure. And get my seeds planted. And they'll be ready towards the fall. Basically, we'll let that set in the sun and let the sun bake the trash bags and hopefully kill off all of the grass up underneath and that will be a nice little bed to put all the watermelons and the squash and um, butternut squash and everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and um go water my pepper plants that i just put in the ground and y'all have a wonderful day until next time we'll see you soon